Franco Bandando, another member of Murder Incorporated, which was called the Combination by its leader, Louis Buckelter. Franco Bandando was a contract killer who came to the organization from street gangs in the Ocean Hill neighborhood of Brooklyn. Franco Bandando was born on July 11, 1910. Nicknamed the Dasher, was the New York City contract killer who committed many murders as part of the infamous Murder, Inc. gang. His preferred killing method was to stab his victims through the heart with an ice pick. Abandando's parents, Lorenzo Abon Andolo and Rosari Famigatti, emigrated from Avellino, Italy to New York City. Abandando was one of 12 children. In 1928, at the age of 17, Abandando delivered a beating to a police officer and was sent to a workhouse in Elmira. Upon his release he returned to the street gang, where he was involved in extortion rackets, illegal gambling, and loan sharking. He also worked as a collector, he also worked as an executioner. In the early 1930s he joined Murder Inc. and worked with A. Brayless, who would later turn state's witness. Abandando and Rayless, besides working as contract killers, for the five families, took steps to eliminate the members of the rival Shapiro gang, a group of mostly Jewish gangsters, who encroached on some of their own rackets in Brownsville. Murder, Incorporated, was an organized crime group, active from 1929 to 1941 that acted as the enforcement arm of the Italian-American Mafia, the Jewish mob, and other closely connected organized crime groups in New York City and elsewhere. The group was composed of Jewish-American and Italian-American gangsters, and members were mainly recruited from poor and working-class neighborhoods in Manhattan and from the Brooklyn neighborhoods of Brownsville. East New York, and Ocean Hill. It was initially headed by Louis Lepk, Buckilter and later by Albert the Mad Hatter, Anastasia. Murder, Inc. was believed to be responsible for between 400 and 1,000 contract killings, until the group was exposed in 1941 by former group member Abe Kid Twist, Rayless. Murder, Inc. committed hundreds of murders on behalf of the National Crime Syndicate during 1929 through 1941. In the trials that followed, many members were convicted and executed, and Abrellis himself died after suspiciously falling from a window. The killers were paid a regular salary as retainer as well as an average fee of $1,000 to $5,000 per killing. Their families also received monetary benefits. If the killers were caught, the mob would hire the best lawyers for their defense. Abandando worked as the chief enforcer, for Harry Mione, and under his orders murdered the three Shapiro brothers. Working for Mione was lucrative. But Abandano developed such a feared reputation that he was in high demand for his services by Murder Incorporated. Abandano received more than three dozen murder assignments, while under contract for Murder Inc. from which he drew a regular salary, and received bonuses after successfully closing a contract. Usually his bonus was $500. From his earnings he purchased an extensive and flashy wardrobe, preferring dark suits, and expensive silk ties, shoes with spats, and costly watches and other jewelry. He also preferred expensive convertibles, in which he drove around the Brooklyn neighborhoods, where he developed another reputation, that of being a sexual predator. Abandando was accused of several rapes, but was never convicted of one. 
Throughout the 1930s, a bandando committed at least 40 murders, for Murder Inc. and possibly up to 60 more on other business, using an ice pick on occasions, knives, cleavers, piano wire, firearms, and on at least one occasion a cinder block, to kill his victims. In 1948 Brayless, was picked up on suspicion of murder and decided to cooperate, by describing the activities and organization of Murder Incorporated. A bandando was arrested for the murder of George Rudnick, who had been killed in a Brooklyn garage in 1937. Rayla's testimony was corroborated by other gangsters cooperating with the authorities in the hope of leniency, but a bandano denied everything. By the 1940s, Murder, Inc. would be severely weakened, after the arrests and convictions of its leaders, like Buck Ilter and Jacob Shapiro, and top hitmen such as Charles the Bug, Workman and Emmanuel Mendy, Weiss, its downfall began in 1940, when Abrellis had turned state witness, after being indicted for murder. His testimonies against fellow murder, Inc. soon led to the arrest of Abandando, for the murder of George Rudnick in 1937. In May 1940, Abandando was put on trial, for murder along with co-defendants Harry Happy, Myoni and Harry Pittsburgh Phil Strauss. Abandando was so confident that his allies would succeed in fixing the verdict, he even whispered a threat into the judge's ear while he was on the witness stand. However, to his surprise, they were all convicted of Rudnick's murder, but the verdicts were overturned on appeal. In April 1941, Abandando, along with Myoni, Strauss had been subsequently convicted, in September 1940 of killing Jewish mobster Irving Feinstein in 1939, went on trial a second time. This time he was convicted of first-degree murder and sentenced to death. Abandando spent the next nine months in Sing Sing Prison in Ossining, New York. On February 19, 1942, he was executed using Old Sparky, the electric chair at Sing Sing. In the moments up to his execution, Abandando continued to mock and curse his guards. It was reported he displayed no fear and seemed to find a morbid humor in the proceedings. Thank you for watching Death Row.